I'm talking here with Dave Nowicki from Aravana, but uh, he's wearing two hats at once in the sense of being here with the CDMA Developers Group and also, uh, you know, working with Aravana as well. Um, Dave, we were talking inside with a larger group on the whole emerging model of wireless operators turning more to customer premises equipment in the case of uh, femtocells for 3G services, but uh, eventually, you know, how the, the models will change for CPE and 4G services as well. Um, you've seen partnerships work uh, on a greater basis than they had when infrastructure developers were still working strictly on a, you know, regular macro base station model. Uh, what do you think is going to be the uh, uh, growing model for partnerships as we extend to the femtocell? So in the femtocell area, it's, as you said, it's pretty interesting given, uh, you know, the innovation that's occurring in uh, different levels. And one thing I would say is that um, we've got to remember that the femtocell is part of the network. It's part of the 3G network. It's part of the 4G network. It interacts with the network, right? So that means that at some level, somebody with the radio network expertise must be involved. Um, and it has to be delivered ultimately by the operator because it's licensed spectrum. So somebody has to be involved uh, in terms of interacting the femtocell with, uh, with the macro cell. So what we're seeing actually um, is that uh, you know a lot of small companies um, have taken a taken a lead, medium-sized companies and so forth have taken a lead in terms of developing femtocells, bringing them to the market. But then they're partnering up with the larger core infrastructure vendors to integrate everything into the network and, and, and bring it to, you know to the marketplace. So it's been. Um, a variety of models have emerged, uh, sometimes where, you know, it might be a company that's doing the entire thing, or it might be a company that, uh, you know, is, is focusing on their particular element of it, and then partnering with a lot of other, uh, you know, a lot of other vendors or products in the market. Now, you know, both uh, Kathy O'Connell at Alcatel from the, uh, from the 700 megahertz open air perspective, and Suresh Sharma uh, from Huawei talking about the self-optimized network mentioned the issue of you know open interfaces at, at several layers and I'm wondering whether you've run into this much lately on trying to work with others by opening more and more levels of interfaces and whether this is mostly a dream for the future or it's really beginning to happen now. Oh well there have been huge developments in the femtocell area on standards mm. right and so that means it's open right so effectively as we move to a standards-based solution, um, both on the CDMA side and also on the UMTS side um, in the femtocell area, as things become standard-based, then it's, it's much more open uh, for you know uh, a lot of different people to get in and, and compete. Um, so in fact, that's where I see the openness coming in, is being driven by standards. And that's just sort of in terms of how we hook everything together in the network. Mm -hmm. Another element of openness is when we start to look at applications that are gonna run on femtocells, and then we'll start to look at femtocells integrated into other units, let's say a DSL, a home unit, and so forth. When you start to look at those kinds of things, um, you also have to look at now open interfaces to run applications um, on that kind of a unit, right? So there's the standalone femtocell model, there's the integrated femtocell model. So we're starting to look, we're starting to look at uh, open platforms in that regard to allow people to run what they call femtozone applications uh, mm -hmm. from, from the femtocell itself. So I think that um, the femtocell area actually being driven by uh, the, uh, the femto forum and so forth has actually worked uh, quite well together in terms of uh, achieving standards and, and moving towards open interfaces. So that's all really just around the corner.